Hi everyone, back to the Animal Facts channel. In this video, I will discuss the facts about crocodiles and the uniqueness of crocodiles. Are you curious? Let's keep watching this video until it's finished so you can understand the greatness of this alligator. Many still ask, what is a crocodile? Where does the crocodile live? What food do crocodiles eat? Crocodiles are large reptiles that live in water. Crocodiles include all species of members of the Crocodilidae family, including the narrow crocodile. However, this name can also be used loosely to refer to alligator, caiman, and gavial crocodiles, namely crocodile relatives of different tribes. Crocodiles can live on land and in water, but crocodiles are generally found in aquatic areas such as rivers, lakes, and swamps. Crocodiles living in the wild will generally eat other animal species that pass in front of them such as small mammals, birds, fish, insects, frogs, other species of reptiles and crustaceans. Crocodiles eat an average of 1-3 kg of meat per day or about 5% of their body weight per week. The bigger the size of the crocodile, the greater the need for food. Interesting facts about crocodiles crocodiles are one of the oldest living reptiles on Earth. They first appeared around 200 million years ago, meaning they lived side by side with the dinosaurs. Crocodiles can grow up to 20 feet in length and weigh more than a ton. The largest crocodile ever recorded was the saltwater crocodile, which was 23 feet long and weighed more than 2,000 pounds. Crocodiles have strong bites that can crush bones, the bite force of a crocodile is up to 1,200 pounds per square inch, twice as strong as that of a lion. Crocodiles can hold their breath for up to two hours underwater. This allows them to ambush prey underwater or cover long distances without rising into the air. Crocodiles are ectotherms, meaning they depend on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. This is why crocodiles are often found basking in the sun. Crocodiles are social animals and live in groups called basking aggregations. These aggregations can house hundreds of crocodiles and provide protection from predators. Crocodiles are apex predators and play an important role in the ecosystem. They help maintain prey animal populations, which in turn helps maintain the balance of the ecosystem. And crocodile has up to 18 types, and the most popular is a Nile crocodile. The Nile crocodile is one of the world's largest aquatic predators. With a body length that can reach 6 to 7 meters, Nile crocodiles have strong jaws and sharp teeth with which they attack their prey. They are known for their lethal surprise attacks and their reputation as man killers. The saltwater crocodile is the largest species of crocodile in the world and can be found in the salty ocean waters of Asia and Australia. They have large and strong bodies as well as temples that can easily crush the bones of their prey. These crocodiles are very dangerous to humans and are often involved in fatal attacks. The American alligator is a species of crocodile that is native to North America. Although not as big as the Nile crocodile or saltwater crocodile, the American alligator is still a powerful and ferocious predator. They often stalk their prey in waters and swamps and are notorious for their unexpected attacks that can harm humans. The mugger crocodile is a species of crocodile found in South Asia. They have a large and strong body and deadly jaws, Mugger crocodiles are known to be aggressive and often pose a threat to humans living near rivers or lakes in their territory. The Siamese crocodile is a species of crocodile found in Southeast Asia, especially in Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. They are medium-sized crocodiles, but are still considered dangerous. Siamese crocodiles have sharp teeth and strong jaws to catch and immobilize their prey. Siamese crocodile attacks on humans are not uncommon. Crocodiles are truly amazing creatures. They are survivors who have adapted to live in a variety of habitats and have a long and interesting history. We must all do our part to protect these amazing animals so they can continue to thrive for years to come. 